guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. Let's talk Advanced Warfare. I am so excited for this game because essentially I feel like I have been waiting two years because Ghost, let's just face it, Ghost was ass. And so I went back and played Black Ops 2 and I've been playing it. Now I feel like I've been playing Black Ops 2 for two years. So it's just, I cannot wait for this game. I hope, oh my God, I hope, I hope and I pray that, you know, Oh, I hope it's a good game. But anyways, um, a couple months back, I did a dual con with Monkey, as y'all may know. And we just basically talked about the things that we needed in Advanced Warfare. The things that were just absolutely necessities. So, um, with less than three weeks away, though, um, for the release of Advanced Warfare. I cannot say it enough. I'm so excited. Um, with the <laughs> with the release of Advanced Warfare, less than three weeks away, um, you know, more and more videos are coming out. More interviews are starting to come on, this, that, and the other. So, this is strictly my official opinion. Quote it. <laughs> All right. So, quick scoping is out. Yeah. I wonder if Thunder is going to do another Twitch um, party. Remember last year he did a party for ghosts? No quick scoping. Yeah, I feel you, Thunder. I ate my words too. So, hmm. I wonder if he's going to do another party this year. But quick scoping is out. But my thought, my thought, trick shotting is in. Yep. That's what I said. So, for those of y'all who get really, really, really annoyed with quick scoping, I can only imagine when somebody does a 720 no scope ladder stall claymore cancel XX white white blah. I cannot wait for it. I know it's going to happen. I so know. I cannot wait to see people just rage and be so pissed off. Because for me, like, I don't mind the quick scoping. And one of the things with quick scoping is that people aren't really that pissed off unless it's, you know, in, cro in close proximity. But anyways, with trick shotting, it severely irritates me. Especially when I go into a search and destroy game and I sit there and God forbid I'm the first one to die. And God forbid I'm the last one alive. Either way, I'm fucked. But God forbid I'm the first one to die. And the last one left is a trick shotter. And he will try and try and try like for 45 times. And it's just like, dude, do something you know, like, do something we haven't all seen. It's like when somebody goes to plant the bomb and they spin around. It's like, come on now. Nah, we ain't never seen that before. Go ahead. What's this? I hope you're recording. You know, so I really believe, though, that Advanced Warfare is going to be all about trick shotting. And I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see because, you know, with the exosuits and all this fucking jumping and shit, it's just going to be wild. Like, I literally cannot wait. So, um, but if you guys hadn't had a chance to read the article, the one that I'm talking about, um, he said that pretty much they were cutting down on it. And which, that's what they said in Ghosts. MW3, that's what they said with Dead Man's Hand or Last Man's Stand, whatever. Um, you know, they, they said it on every Call of Duty. So, the best thing to do is just, you know, I've learned my lesson. I have literally learned, you know to eat my words so this time i'm just gonna set back i'm gonna wait for the game i think that's what we all need to do because at the end of the day we're not gonna know anything until you play it for yourself you know that's basically the gist of it because they can say and they can promise stuff and you know like they said they quote unquote cut back on quick scoping well what what exactly does that mean because quick scoping is going to be there unless they take the snipers out that's a reality. Like, there's no other way around it, you know? So, I understand how people get pissed and stuff, but at the end of the day, like I said, it's going to be there unless they take the sniper rifles out. Other than that, you know, it is what it is. So, but like I said, I've learned just to kind of sit back, wait, watch, and see, you know, see what's going to happen. Because they can promise me anything because every single Call of Duty, everybody gets so amped up and excited about, you know, certain perks or things that are going to be in the game or things that are not going to be in the game. And then when you actually play the game, it's like nothing, nothing you imagine, nothing that you write about, nothing you were promised. So anyways, like I said, less than three weeks. I'm so excited. And of course, I don't do GameStop. So nah, I learned my lesson there too. So I will go to Walmart, you know, at midnight, and I don't have to worry about standing in line. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I did the um, midnight release a few times because it's, it's, 
I don't know. I love going and there's all these people and it's just crazy, you know, because gamers come in like every shape and size. So I loved it for that aspect of it. But standing there in the cold, no thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm so over it. So just go to Walmart, midnight, you walk straight in, they have them out, you pay for them, you walk straight out. It's just way easier. You're home an hour sooner, two hours sooner, and you know, you get to play sooner. So anyways, but at the end of the day, like I said, you're really not going to know anything until you play it for yourself. So that's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.